Hey there y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. And tonight I am gonna do a quick little wooden tag for my tiered tray for Easter. So I was excited to do this for you guys. I've had the project in my craft garage for months, but I wanted to, um, I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do with it. So now I am sure I am making a wooden tag for my tiered tray. So as you hop on, say hey for me, let me know what you are doing, what you did this weekend. Let me know what you did this weekend and let's do this too. Okay, so this is a wooden tag that is already cut out for me and it has been sanded, it's smooth and it has a little hole in it. So it's ready to go. And I'm gonna just get to painting because guys, it's gonna take a hot minute for it to be painted and then dry. And I'm literally just gonna put it right here on this paper towel the paint. Just going to use a little chip paint, I mean chip paint, a little chip brush and just start painting this, okay? Um, no particular fashion. I haven't done anything special to the wood, but these chip brush hairs are falling off. <laughs> so I'm going to have to be patient and get them out of the paint. So, oh, Rebecca, I hope you recover fully and quickly. From your surgery that that would be a blessing i'm sure oh thank you susan i just love ladybugs i love them so we were talking about the weekend we basically we went to dallas i met up with um a business uh coaching client of mine for you guys that didn't know i do have a creative business um coaching group the free group is at the top of our page here. Look, I'm already pointing with painted fingers. Hey there, Tanya, how are you? Hey, Kim and Tanya, Michelle, Christina, thank you. All right, I'm getting another little um, bristle. If you guys know any tricks, I mean, I'm sure it's called use a better quality brush, but this is the ones, they're disposable and I love that part of them. I don't have to feel guilty when I get rid of them. But I have the front part white now, and I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go around the edges. And this is just like a really light coat because I'm going to be doing something to the front. Now, the rest of it's gonna have a pretty solid coat, and I may even go back and do it again to cover it again. Did you guys see when I went to Dallas, I went shopping in one of my old stomping grounds. It's over by SMU, and it's called Schneider Plaza. And in Schneider Plaza, they have this adorable shop, and it is um, full of that Mackenzie Childs. Did y'all see my post with the Mackenzie Childs things? They are the pr most precious. It's different from Buffalo Check. It's different from Buffalo Check. She calls it a courtly check, and it is gorgeous stuff and expensive. It's expensive stuff. Oh, Laura, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hey, Amy, how are you tonight? I'm just slapping some paint on this little project here and we are gonna make it into a wooden tag for my Easter tiered tray. And of course, I'll style it for y'all so you can see the whole thing put together. Okay, I'm just gonna slap a little on the bottom. See how it's wood colored? No one's gonna notice, but I just want it no one's gonna notice but me. I just want it covered a little bit. Just kind of look like look like it was store-bought, right? It, at least attempt to try to see if it was store-bought. Hey, Kristen, hey, Marnie, how are you? You're getting ready for your conference. I hope you are excited. I've heard nothing but excitement about it. Okay, here we go. I've got one side, one side left, one little corner left. Hey, Susan. Yes. Oh, Brandy, thank you. You're super sweet. Okay, here is the last side. And voila, y'all know I like to say that. Viola, Viola. We are painted. We've got the paint on, guys. 
I'm just smoothing out any of the, um, oh my gosh. And it is a hair of the brush. Ugh, makes me crazy. And it's okay that this is touching. I got another hair of the brush. That's enough to make you crazy. Uh, Stephanie, my friend, her husband made these, and so I just had a, a stack of them in the garage, but you can probably find these. Otherwise, you can probably um, either cut one yourself or have one cut, or like I typically just use a block. I use a square. But if anybody else knows any ideas of where you can get these already cut, then that would be helpful. Okay, I'm just making sure my edges are smooth. It's pretty, it's pretty covered and I think it's, it's like almost dry to touch now. This is where I'm at. There's a few brush strokes, brush, brush, not brush strokes, brush strokes. And okay, Michelle, you use the foam brush. I sometimes do too, but it loads so much paint that sometimes it's way more paint than I need on here. So here's the deal, y'all. I sound like Seinfeld. I sound like Seinfeld, fe Feld. I say, here's the deal. <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, I ordered some of the Mackenzie Child's uh, napkins and tissue paper. And so we are gonna make some projects with that. Y'all, my, my stand won't stay up very good tonight, so it slowly uh, sneaks down. Just making sure I don't, I'm not getting a bunch of paint on myself. I have my Sunday Fun Day shirt on. Um, you saw some at Walmart, but they were thinner. Yeah, they were like the thin tags. I know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm just gonna let my fingers dry, and I'm gonna get going on the next part of this build across that's a good idea joanne so i have these napkins you guys know my little obsession with napkins these napkins actually came from joanne's you guys give me some hearts for the bunny napkins they are precious and they say um happy easter on them and then they have this cute little uh pattern at the bottom so i'm gonna get them open somehow i don't know where it it doesn't have an opening, so I'm just going to have to tear into them. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Rebecca. Melis Melissa? I like that name. Okay, there we go. We got it open. I'm going to get one of these boogers out. All right, so here he is. Here he is. He is super sweet. And this is like all the rage of the pattern this, this year. I'm going to open him up. Thank you guys for doing this. You guys are, are doing great. I'm gonna open him up and I'm going to cut him out. And I'm going to try to leave it square so that um, I get some of this happy Easter writing, even though I know I'm not gonna capture all the writing. I may cut around the bunny. Y'all are gonna have to help me decide. That's that's a tough decision. Thanks, Kathy. Hey, Jessica. How are you tonight? So, this may be interesting. I am just cutting out the square that has the bunny in it, okay? While our tag dries a little bit more. It doesn't have to dry all the way, and it's not going to dry all the way. But here's what I've got is just the bunny. Okay. And I'm gonna see how he lays on here. He's looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure I am leaving the whole, the whole napkin. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to cut out just, like sometimes you can cut out just the shape of the image like I could cut out the outline of the bunny, but this time I am leaving bunny on the paper with the paper. Okay, so while this is um, 
sort of dry. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Mod Podge and we're gonna put a little layer on the front. And it's okay for it to mix with a little of the white paint um, because it's all going in the same place. You know how like you eat your food in sections, but then you're like, oh, I don't know why, it's all going in the same place. Same thing with the Mod Podge and the paint. So I liked this side for the front, so I'm just gonna add it a little bit here. And yes, I am double dipping. I am double dipping in my Mod Podge because I didn't bring something over here to uh, use for pouring it out on. I'm just putting a really thin layer too, y'all, because this really can kind of stick to the paint. And I don't really want to paint over the napkin. I do want it to be Mod Podge. So I'm going to do this and get a little of it off. And then we're going to carefully lay the napkin over the tag. So here we go. Are we ready? Is everybody holding their breath? Here we go. I know I am. Okay. I want it to be good. Oh, I hope his ear stayed on. It did. Okay. Yay. And as you notice, I did not, I did not um, tear the layers of napkins apart like I do for the candles because it would be too thin. One full napkin is, I mean, the whole napkin uh, thickness is fine. Okay, so this is where we're at. I have him on there. There's lots of wrinkles. We're gonna get rid of those. Um, this is the back of the tag. He's white now. And now I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the next layer of the Mod Podge on. And I didn't bring my sandpaper over here, but ultimately I would sandpaper over the edges and I will do that off camera. But I just, I'll, I'm gonna get it to the point where you can see where he's at. And then I'm gonna show you the little, I wanna make a little tassel for him too. What do you think? Oh, Amy, yes, I love this idea too. It's not original, tons of people do the paper napkin Mod Podge, even you know on wood signs all the time. But I like this one with the bunny. Okay, I have got this on. a little bit wrinkly. I'm trying to smooth out some of the wrinkles. And it's just going to make it look a little more antiqued, which is fine. And it will dry clear, y'all. It will dry clear. I'm going to put a little on the edges just to kind of get the edge of the paper napkin down. And then, like I said, I'll go back and sand it off and the edges will look um, distressed a little bit and I'm not gonna try to get this whole side down because I don't want to have to sand the whole thing off but I am gonna do the side the corner of the side so see oh thank you Jan Janet and Suzanne I don't know I didn't know you could leave all the layers yes yes it's just a little bit thicker Okay, I'm just kind of doing around the edges, just getting it pressed down a little, and then we're gonna put a cute little wooden bead tassel at the end of him. Oh my goodness, y'all, he's so cute. Let me get this end of him. I tried to save as much of the pattern at the bottom as possible without making it just totally come off the edge. This is him so far. I want to get this corner just a little bit more 
Deborah, you're watching it live, sweet, sweet lady. This isn't le replay. At least I hope it's not replay. That would make for a really long day. I'm like, I think I'm live. Let me pinch myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay. Just making sure we've got enough on here. All right, it's good and wet. We are going to go ahead and take our scissors and we're going to poke a hole through the um, hole part and it's done. I'm just kind of moving it around, grabbing the napkin off. Getting it down in the hole. All right. I'm telling y'all, he's gonna be so stinking cute when I'm done. Sorry again, my little, my stand is not standing up for me. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's do his tassel real quick. I wanted to um, make him extra cute. So we're gonna put one of these, this is like a gray and white baker's twine. And you can grab this at Dollar Tree. I think this came from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I'm literally just going to use a few beads. So I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna take this much. Yes, Mary, thank you for explaining. And I'm not gonna do this right now, but I would put it, or am I? Am I gonna do this right now? I'll put it right through the hole. I just don't want to ruin my twine. So here's where the tassel's going. And I would go ahead and tie the knot down on here. And then I have these two ends here and I'm just going to start putting the beads on it. But I want them to be equal. Okay. They are hard to thread two strings at a time. I needed to uh, stick some glue on these or some tape on these strings. I may have to do one at a time. It's like I got it most of the way shoved up in there. Okay, I'm taking it out. I'm taking it out. We're starting over. We're starting over. Here we go. Hope I have enough. Hope I have enough length. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time. Well, then how am I gonna get the other one in there, y'all? This isn't small enough. Hold on, I got an idea. Tape them, I know. Okay, I have an idea. I have my big needle. This is a big old needle. Graham or Cheryl, the napkins were from um, Joann's. So I'm just shoving the bead in there. I mean, shoving the string in the bead. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get this. Let me get this. I have got this. She's right, I'm gonna have to break down and tape this. Hold on, let me get some tape. All I have is painter's tape, y'all. We'll see. We'll see how it works. I'll be your guinea pig. Okay, so I've made my little tape needle and I'm gonna shove it up in the ball. And voila, look y'all, it worked. So there's tassel ball number one. And I just decided to go in odd numbers. So I have five here. And so we're gonna put five on here. Oh my goodness. Sometimes y'all, I just don't know. Okay, 
So here is him so far. Now when he dries, most of those wrinkles are gonna flatten out and, uh, and then I'm gonna sand off the edges of the paper. But for now, we're gonna finish his tassel, get the, get the bead off. Sherry, don't even worry. That is one that will be banned as soon as I hop off here. It's super easy to do that because nobody needs negativity. All right, so let me grab the twine again, and we're gonna finish off the tassel for our tag. Okay. Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> I always help people on move along, so don't even worry about it. I am very good at helping people move along. Oh, I think so too, Michelle. I think the, um, the wrinkles give him character. So here's what I'm doing with the um, twine as I roll it around in the, in the paint. Okay, thank you, Vicki. Yes, Alma, what I do is I'm gonna actually, I still have to um, stage the Easter tray or style it. And when I style the Easter tray, I post the whole thing. So yeah. Hey, Vicki, thank you so much. I'm making a hot mess, y'all, with my tassel. This is not even, but it's all right. It'll straighten out when I'm finished with it. And y'all, oh my gosh, I have a brand new bow to show y'all. I have a brand new bow to show y'all. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I actually have way more than one bow. Guys, I have three. I think I have three new bows to show y'all. Not tonight. Patience. Okay, I think that's enough for the tassel. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with this. Okay, so I have this, and I'm literally just going to take this part of it, tie it into the strings that I already have here, and then it's tied down. And then all I'm gonna do is trim it up. Oh, yes. Who knew? Who knew? And then let me trim it up one more time, y'all. Oh, Michigan. Oh, I bet it was pretty. Tanya, I've been missing you too. I've been busy, 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 busy. Can y'all see what I'm doing at all? Okay. This, these scissors are just eaten up. Let me, let me get my fabric scissors. Do y'all love how everything's just like, just beyond reach? Okay. There, get the real scissors for the job. Okay. How do you like that? Give me some hearts if you like the beaded tassel that's on top of the bunny tag for my wooden tray. Here it is. You can sort of kind of see him. Again, guys, as soon as this dries, I'm taking this, I can go ahead and start tearing it off. Look at me, I'm scared, but I'm doing it scared. I got some of the paper off. What do you think? What do you think so far? As soon as he dries, we'll finish him up and I will stage the tray with him so you guys can see. He's so precious. So the, he's a gray bunny and this is the gray baker's twine. And I painted him white and then I mod podged his sign on here. And as soon as it dries, you'll be able to see the words that say Happy Easter on here too, because there are words. You just can't see them right now because it's wet. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Beth. I think he's adorable too. I think he's adorable too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So listen, if you guys haven't signed up yet for the Spring Craftathon, listen, there's gonna be 36 fresh ideas just like this one for spring. And I would love, love, love you guys to hop over to springcraftathon.com and get yourself registered for free prizes and get yourself registered for a VIP access ticket. 
Our sponsors are Deco Exchange. We've got Brown Eyed Girls Crafting. We've got Tammy Loves. We've got um, Cowgirls and Spurs, and we've got um, or Spurs and Cowgirls, and we've got Let's Create the Perfect Party. I am so excited. It's gonna be super, super awesome. It's on March 7th all day long, and if you're pretty sure you can't make that date, you're gonna to wanna to get a VIP access ticket because that's how you're gonna see all the crafts um, after, after it's over. So, yes, Suzanne, I need this in my life too. I'm so glad we made him together. He is so adorable. He is so adorable. Um, Michelle, this came from a friend of mine. Her husband cut these and I just had, I have like five of them. So I was just trying to use them. Um, but you can use any wood block. I'm over here tearing this, tearing this off like an obsessed person. Oh yeah. I've gotten most of it off now y'all, but yeah. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for hopping on on a Sunday night and joining me for this cute little fun, uh, piece of decor and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.